Hello students. All of you must have seen industries and factories. Do you know what happens in these industries? Various materials are manufactured in the industries. For example, cement. Cement is a very important product manufactured in large quantities. Cement is a very important material used in construction of buildings. Buildings, barrages and dams are all constructed using cement. I'm sure by now you understand how widely cement is used. Today, we will learn about such various chemical products and understand their relationship with industries. Our topic of discussion today is chemistry and industry. So students, can any of you think of a building or a structure that has been constructed without the use of cement. I'm sure that has not happened in the recent past. In 1924, J. Afton invented cement by mixing limestone and clay. When these two materials were heated strongly, a powder was formed. This powder, when mixed with water, formed a strong stone-like structure. Interestingly, such hard stone structures resemble the stones found in Portland and therefore the powder formed was named Portland cement. What are the chemical constituents of Portland cement? We know cement looks like grey dirty powder. 90% of it consists of calcium silicates and calcium aluminates. That is 2CaOSiO2 or 3CaOSiO2 in form of calcium silicates and 3CaOAl2O3 or 43CaOAl2O3 in form of calcium aluminates. The other 10% includes iron oxide, sodium oxide, potassium oxide magnesium oxide and dissolved sulfur oxides. Therefore, cement is basically a composite material. Cement is widely used for construction of buildings and dams etc. Without cement, we would not have been able to build strong or huge structures like houses, offices, schools and colleges. Cement is manufactured in multiple ways. Can you imagine what raw materials are required for manufacturing cement? As J. Asprin had rightly found, the raw materials for cement will definitely include limestone and clay. Limestone provides calcium which in turn provides hardness and the clay provides aluminium and silica that binds hardness. Now as I mentioned earlier, the raw materials can be processed in two different ways to begin the manufacturing of cement. One is the wet process and the other is a dry process. Let us look into each one of these processes. For the wet process, clay is purified by washing it in a wash mill. Then, limestone is crushed into small pieces and mixed with the purified clay in appropriate proportions to get a substance usually called the raw slurry. However, this slurry would still contain 40% water. This slurry is made into a uniform mixture by the mixer machine. You can get this raw slurry through a dry process as well. In the dry process, the raw materials are first mixed in proper proportions. This mixture is the dried, pulverized and made uniform. When I say pulverize, it means crushing the mixture into small pieces, just like we learnt in the wet process for limestone. The uniform mixture is now called raw meal. We saw how through the wet process and dry process, we obtain the raw slurry and raw meal respectively. Whatever processes are being followed to get these raw materials, these materials are now processed to get the cement. Let's take a look into the next phase of the process. 
In the next phase, the raw slurry or raw meal is processed through a rotary kin. The rotary kin is made of steel and is cylindrical in shape. Its length is 150 meters and its diameter is 4 meters. It can run up to 30 to 60 turns per hour. At one end, it has a funnel-like structure connected with a screw to allow the raw materials to pass through it. At the other end, the kin burns coal, burning gas or oil. The raw material, which is also called charge, is passed through the funnel slowly. While the charge moves through the cylinder, it loses water and carbon dioxide. The charge then reaches the burning area where the temperature is usually between 1700 to 1900 degrees Celsius. At this end, there is a chemical reaction and a mixture of calcium silicates and calcium aluminates is produced. This product is called clinker cement. This clinker cement is gathered, cooled, ground to fine powder and mixed with 2 to 3 percent of gypsum. This product is the final cement. And this is how cement is manufactured. You will find that the cement available in the markets is stored within airtight bags. Cement reacts with moisture and to avoid its hardening before use, it is kept in airtight bags for selling. There are many other products manufactured in industries. We will learn about more such products.